Greetings! Autumn is nearly here at Cub of Cottage and I could be more excited to start decorating for my favorite season here in the Hudson Valley. I'd love to invite you to decorate with me and hopefully pick up a few cozy cottage core tips along the way. In case you're new around here, my name is Lindsay Diane and I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and join the Cozy Cottage Club. So fall is when the cottage gets even cozier than ever and I get to display all my most precious autumnal decorations. I actually have some of them out all year long because I think they fit really well with the overall vintage within fairy tale theme we have here at the cottage. Most of our decor is either thrifted, vintage, or secondhand. It's a lovely day here at the cottage and I'm feeling like a cute little mushroom lady. So all I need to do is put on my apron and let's get started, shall we? Let's begin outside where I've hung up some of my favorite fall linens. Seeing them hanging on the line helps me visualize my autumnal color palette of rusty orange, acorn brown, and mossy green. Sometimes a color combination can surprise you in the best possible way. Yellow is a color that's really grown on me since living in a little yellow cottage. And this tea towel is a big inspiration for me to play with all the natural elements I love about Cabo Cottage. I always like to begin decorating with my linens first because it helps me set the tone throughout my home. Woodland-inspired pillow covers and blankets help me pull all the autumn tones together throughout the rooms of this little house. Come and sit down. <laughs> thank you for helping me make the bed. Of course. <laughs> and thank you Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. We love that Brooklinen is founded on the philosophy that people deserve beautiful and quality home essentials without the luxury markup. We're happy to let you know that right now Brooklinen is having an end of summer sale. Everything is 15% off from now until September 8th. So be sure to take advantage of their sale so you can try out their sheets or stock up on your favorites. So we've been using Brooklyn and bedding for the last six months, and we can see why Brooklyn is true and tried with over 100,000 five-star reviews. Linen is our favorite fabric to sleep in because it's lightweight and still cozy. It's just perfect for warm days and cool nights. When we were traveling overseas this summer, I couldn't stop thinking about Brooklinen and I missed our bedding so much. It just really makes a huge difference in getting a good night's sleep. Plus, I just love the perfectly imperfect rumpled look of linen so much. So for fall, we updated our bedding colors with a terracotta duvet and khaki chambray sheets and pillowcases. So shop for your Brooklyn and Hardcore bundle from the comfort of your home. You can mix and match over 20 colors and patterns for the linen core sheet set, extra pillowcases and duvet covers. So thanks so much again to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this video. I have to uh, continue decorating now. And I can't wait to go to bed. <laughs> Thank you. 
In a home for two, love, together we'll rest, where only true love can weather the test. Don't be delaying, the organ is playing. The whole world is saying, go feather your nest. These lyrics from 1920 ring true to me even 100 years after they were written. There's just something instinctual about Autumn's arrival and how it makes me want to feather our cozy nest here at the cottage. So I'm taking a leaf out of my feathered friend's book and using pressed leaves and other forest treasures to decorate this vintage woodland display on the dresser. Speaking of books, I always find so much inspiration from antique covers and illustrations found in charming old storybooks like this. I suppose I find so much enjoyment in decorating because, in a way, I can create my own little fairy tale world. Of course, any fairy tale would not be complete without the local forest, flora, and fauna. And what would fall be without mushrooms on the forest floor? I love adding little natural details that I've foraged over the years. Each one holds a special memory for Jonas and I. Whether we pick them up here in the Sleepy Hollow countryside, or in the forests of Sweden, or in the mountains of California. September is a sentimental month for Jonas and I, because we were wed on the first day of fall. Since we're coming up to our 10 year anniversary, I wanted to incorporate some decorations from our fall fairy tale wedding. so special being able to display these treasured keepsakes again. In our tiny kitchen, I like to keep things cozy with a countryside style. I love using wooden baskets, patchwork, and crochet doilies for that rustic charm.
course, a cottage kitchen needs a teapot or two. The majority of my little ceramic collection is very autumnal by nature, and I love displaying them all year round. But since it's fall, it gives me a good excuse to do a little show and tell of my vintage teacups and figurines. Evening marks the close of day. Skies of blue begin to gray. Crimson hues are fading in the west. Evening ever brings to me dreams of days that used to be, memories of those that I love best. When shadows fall and trees whisper day is ending, my thoughts are ever wending home. When the crickets call, my heart is forever yearning, once more to be returning home. As autumn approaches, I always get such a sense of nostalgia for family traditions and the comforts of hearth and home. Sometimes I can feel a little melancholy as the shadows start to fall a little earlier every day, which brings us indoors more. In the evenings is when I find the true coziness of autumn. That heartwarming feeling of your home wrapping you like a hug.
Well friends, I really hope you enjoyed decorating with me today at the cottage. I love decorating for all the seasons here, but there's just something extra magical about how the colors on the outside just harmonize with the, all the autumnal colors inside the cottage. As you can probably tell, I love pulling color inspiration from what's happening outside the cottage and bringing those natural elements inside the cottage so it just feels like a cozy little hobbit hole filled with simple pleasures. One simple pleasure for me in the fall is to make a nice cup of tea when it's still crisp and cool in the morning and bringing it back into the bedroom and enjoying it with a nice book and snuggling up with a blanket and just watching how the sunlight is streaming in differently through the windows. And I just love how this fall leaf blanket just matches the Brooklinen bedding so much and just wanted to remind you to take advantage of their end of summer sale and it'd be a really great time to try out linen bedding if you haven't already or stock up on some of your favorites. So I would love to hear how you're making your home cozy for fall and thank you so much for spending time with me here today at the cottage and I will see you again soon. Bye for now! Thank mm -hmm. you.